I want to give you some tips for what to do when your plan starts to go awry. So let's imagine this is the plan that you've laid out for yourself in your foil pot. It's very straight and orderly and has these very specific coils all separated by a simple straight long coil. And then this is where you find yourself and you start to get a little frustrated and you're like, it's not straight. It's getting lopsided. I'm seeing cracks. I'm seeing dents. And so you may think I need to start over, which can be an option. And there's definitely no shame in starting over. Typically when students do something for the second time, it looks better, but there's also some benefit to learning um, that things can be repaired and you can readjust your plans. So as uh, the great Zen artist, Bob Ross said, there's no accidents or no mistakes, there's happy accidents. So we could try to find the beauty in this and say, you know, it's kind of interesting the way it's curving and leaning. Maybe we kind of like the, the randomness and the change in the folds, how they get higher and lower. So maybe you want to, instead of eliminate and start over, you want to sort of accentuate some of those imperfections. So I've got some spheres rolled here. And for the sake of this, I'm not gonna slip and score at the moment. I will go back and slip and score, of course. So that side was kind of dipped down. So maybe I wanna add some spheres over there and then do a coil. Maybe I'm gonna have my coil sort of come in on this side and keep lap looping around. I wanna play around with what it would look like if I accentuate and continue this sort of lopsidedness. I'm sort of kind of thinking Dr. Seuss and sort of a more playful approach. Right, so this was a very structured approach and maybe once I find myself here, I decide I'm going to adjust my approach, right? This happens all the time in life. So I will go back and slip and score that, but I want to show you another thing that you can do, which is if you've got areas that are cracking, right, dip your brush in either slip or water and some pressure from your bristles along with the slip can really smooth things out. So these areas that you felt like maybe we're looking kind of messy and imperfect can start to be smooth. And, and you do want to do that for craftsmanship. There's a difference between craftsmanship and then having perfect straight lines. Something can be lopsided and funky um, and still have good craftsmanship. The not cracks, you don't want cracks in the clay, no matter your design. You don't want to see, um, marks from the scoring that you did not intend to have there. So you can smooth all that out and then continue to make this playful. Okay, so I've played around with my little pot that sort of went off track and sort of channeled my creativity and imagination and turned it into a funky little pot that does not need to be perfect perfect, but I did work on some craftsmanship and making sure I didn't have cracks and I used my toothpick to re-exaggerate some coils that had gotten smushed. I added in spheres on different sides so that it sort of had this lopsided funky feel and I'm pretty happy with it. Even though when I started, I intended it to be a nice, neatly structured piece of pottery, I ended up with something that's more whimsical and creative. And this is one of the ways that art can be a metaphor for life. We can have very specific plans that we try to go forward with and something happens and we need to adjust. So.